Okay, I think I grabbed everything for this video, so yeah, I think I actually I had left a lot of stuff out, so I decided to just restart the video. So um, I want to talk about another is a wanted video, and that's focused around the Game Boy SP. Um, I'm doing a lot of these, by the way, just because I either forget about the idea or I make the videos in advance and I never upload them. I always end up deleting them, so I'm making them all now and uploading them while I still think it's a good idea. But um, back to the topic. My Game Boy Advance SP. This is the one I have, but there are other options. You can get the regular Game Boy Advance, which a lot of people like because it's comfortable. But if you do get it and you don't mod it, because there's a way to mod it, put lights behind the screen to make it a little bit better. This one has, this one is one of the first Game Boy games to have a light in the screen. That's why a lot of people enjoy it. A lot of people say it's a cramp control, but I don't mind it. But there are ways to fix it. You can get the little wing controls that make it into more of a grip thing, which I don't think I need, but one of these days, if I find them cheap, I kind of want to grab one just to see if I like it better. But, um, I have this console, and I also have the DS Lite that also plays Game Boy Advance games. But, right, like, this is the better way to play Game Boy Advance games if you just want to play Game Boy Advance games. But, if you want to play Game Boy Advance games and some Game Boy game thing with some light on the screen, I think that's the best way. Um, because, as I said... It plays reason-free Japanese games. It plays American games, of course. It, it plays reason-free any games. It plays regular Game Boy, and it plays Game Boy Color. Every game will fit in here, even though it sticks out. But like the other, like so it had so in my opinion, game like if you just want a lot of games to play. I think the regular Game Boy Advance is more of a better option because DS games are cool and all, but they're still pretty expensive. For example, Mario game, I got this for $7. You can get it for $10, so it's a little bit cheaper, but of course, graphics-wise, if you care about that, it's ne definitely not as pretty. But if you just want some fun games, there are definitely some fun games out there. You, of course, this is um, a really good Japanese turn-based strategy Naruto game that's really fun. That's the game I got the other day that plays like the Famicom game, so I'm not gonna say much about it. But I'm gonna say that all these game all these games for the system are really cheap for the most part. You can get them for fairly cheap. I have a good bit of games for it so far, and I have a lot of American games. And one thing you can get is knockoff games. I did a video about this a while back. Um I really wanted to beat Game Boy. I really wanted to beat Pokemon Emerald. This is the whole reason. I got a Game Boy, uh, Game Boy, well, technically I got DS for, first, but this is the whole reason I got into collecting for the GBA, because I played this on emulator, it was very fun, but the emulator kept on crashing and making me reset my game, so I did it. The only thing is about these knockoffs, sometimes they're not the best quality. This one is a fairly good one, I even took this up to a game store at one point, because I'm really good with those people up there, like, we get along okay, so I... Decided to see if they knew the difference between them. They didn't. They were going to give me like 17 bucks. I paid $10 for it. So I, 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 I didn't take it. But I was tempted. But Okay. Point is. You can get games for fairly cheap. Especially if you shop Japanese games. This isn't Japanese. But you can understand it fairly well. This I got for $2 shipped. A lot of games you can get for $2 shipped. A lot of good games. Actually I just ordered some games from Japan lately. And I got a whole bunch of Mario games for around five dollars a piece, so that's a really good deal. But um, this is a, I think this is around forty dollar console. There are other options. There is the Game Boy, or the Game Boy Advance Micro that I really want, but I don't have the money to get that, and I don't have the availability in order for me to get that. But um, that's a really cool console too. This. I think is a really nice console, in my opinion. There's a lot of great games for it. I barely played any of my games so far. I just collect for it so far. Because if you can get the game for $2 a piece, if you put it in and you don't like it, then I don't feel like it's a waste of money to just not play it again. If I don't click with it, then I'm not going to play it. That's how I do with most of my games in my collection. But um, I don't got much to say about this. I will say you can also play games on a Retron 5. So that's another thing you can play it on. But um, if I want to judge on the Game Boy Advance itself, 
I think is extremely worth it because I can play all my favorite Game Boy games in color. Before that, I had to attach a headlamp to my face to play my games in the dark. See? Yes, a sec. Yeah, sorry. See, you can do that, and you can also stretch the aspect, which a, which a lot of people don't like, but I never minded it. It didn't stretch it, like, extremely bad. Like, it still looks like what it's supposed to be. And I don't tell the difference. But, um, that's, that's going to be about it, guys. I'm going to cut out of this video. There's not a whole lot to say about it, so, yeah. This game system is extremely worth it. I think I did a different video on the DS, so I'm not going to put that under it. I'm just saying there's other ways to play the Game Boy Advance line of console, of system. And, um, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.